welcome back to my channel. So we are going to talk about the last episode, A Thousand Pound Sisters, Season 3, Episode 4, Heavy Hoarders. So Amy went over to Tammy's house and she wanted to Tammy to get out of the house and come out and watch Gage swim in the pool for the first time. And Amy asked Tammy what did Chris and Misty come over for and talk to her about the other day and Tammy told Amy they're letting her know that they're aware of what was going on online with her boyfriend and they knew all the rumors going around about her boyfriend and Amy was like what are you talking about and Tammy explained that her boyfriend Philip has a fetish for big people that's the rumor going around but Tammy says that's not the truth. And Amy asked Tammy, what did she like so much about this Philip guy? And Tammy said everything. She liked the fact she could sit there and talk to him on the phone for hours. And he didn't jump off talking about sex. He told Tammy he wanted to better her life and he wanted to build a life and foundation with Tammy before they got serious. But Tammy was thinking awfully hard when she was saying this stuff and talking pretty slow like, like, just like, it just seemed like she was just making stuff up off the top of her head and just saying whatever she thought sounded good and what everybody wanted to hear. And Tammy said that her and Philip have even talked about getting married, but they haven't made no set plans. And Amy's frustrated because Tammy's so focused on this guy instead of getting healthy. And you can't be in a relationship if you're six feet under. And that's the road Tammy's heading down right now. Tammy's one sausage roll away from a heart attack. And she has to start taking her life more serious because she's running out of time. Precious, valuable time. I feel like her little boy toy, Philip, was the real reason why Tammy wanted to leave rehab early so she could hurry up and go home and see him. And Tammy's brother, Chris, he's frustrated because he feels like Tammy's boyfriend is trying to make money off her following because apparently he has big parties for big women all the time. And Chris said the only bad thing with Tammy is she wears her heart on her sleeve. So anybody who gives her any little bit of attention, she falls head over heels in love with and hell has no fury like a woman in love. So Chris feels like Amy is starting to have what Tammy wants desperately and Tammy's starting to get jealous and she can either choose to get healthy and better her life or choose to get upset and keep spiraling. But as she goes that route, the doctor only gave her four or five more years tops to live. At this point, Tammy could be here today and gone tomorrow, especially with the fact she had a life-threatening crisis a few weeks ago and was hospitalized and put on life support. So Tissa, Tammy's certified nursing assistant, came over and she was trying to get Tammy out of her wheelchair and get her to walk to the mailbox because in the last episode before this one, Amy was getting on to Tissa that she needs to motivate and push Tammy more and get past her attitude. And Tammy just threw a fit and said she wasn't going to go anywhere. She wasn't going to do any walking. And Tammy said the nurse doesn't understand how much pain she's in when she walks and that she said that nurse was about to get cussed out. And Tissa said, well, what are you going to do when we go to the pool? You want to go to the pool so bad and you're going to have to get up out of the car and walk when you go to the pool. And Tammy's like, I don't care about the pool. F the pool. And she just had a bad attitude about it. I, I don't think Tiss is going to last long. Tammy's going to get mad and end up firing her. And the nurse was like, well, what are you going to tell Dr. Smith when he asks you what you've been doing? Because Tammy was working out every day for an hour and a half when she was in rehab. And now that she's home, she doesn't want to get up and do anything. And the producers asked Tammy if she was nervous for her next weigh-in with Dr. Smith. And she's like, no, I got this. And she sounded pretty confident. But then when Chris picked Tammy up to go to Dr. Smith, Tammy admitted to her brother that she had two cheat days, one where she had a few slices of pizza and another one where she had a cheeseburger and Amy was the one bringing her the food and Chris said that Tammy's cheat days usually turn into cheat weeks and she doesn't realize how much she ends up cheating and how much she eats and every time she does that, she ends up gaining weight. And they went to the weigh-in, and Tammy weighed in at 439 pounds, so she has gained 
15 pounds since leaving rehab and Chris weighed in at 414 pounds so he just had to get surgery so the doctor was understanding and he said since Chris has been doing what he needed to do this whole time except for the past month he was going to go ahead and prove him for surgery but he told Chris he just has to get under 400 pounds before the next couple weeks when they do do the surgery and the doctor was pushing Tammy to get motivated and push herself more to exercise and he even said like yeah she was working out for a hour and a half in rehab so I know she has it in her to do the exercises she's supposed to do and meanwhile Amy's back at home and she decides to call some home organizers because she says since she's had Gage, she's constantly feeding, playing, and taking care of him. And she doesn't have time to clean her house. So Amy wants to take care of the clutter. Now that they have a baby, they have more and more stuff coming in. And his stuff is taking over the house. So Amy wants to organize her house, but she doesn't know where to start. And Michael, her husband, he didn't even sound so keen on the organizer idea. He said he didn't think it was going to do any good. And he said most people who got get home organizers, they have bigger homes. And Amy says she needs to get her life in order because she does have a fear of being a bad mom. She says that YouTube has dragged her so bad for seeing cockroaches and bugs in her videos. And I feel like low-key, the producers probably offered to pay for a home organizer because I know you guys saw all the cockroaches in the house while they were filming just that episode. Even TLC was being messy and zooming in on the roach and blurring out Amy. Did you guys notice that? And you know the camera crew, they're probably coming home with cockroaches in their camera bags and that would suck because they bring all this equipment to these people's houses to set up before filming. I talked to a few people on these reality shows and it typically takes them three hours every morning just to set everything up and three hours to take everything down. And I remember I went to summer camp one day, one year and when I came home my mom was like, make sure you open your suitcase in the gr or outside and I forgot and I opened it in the garage. My mom freaked out because a cockroach popped out and thank God I was able to throw it outside after that before any more popped out but it was so nasty and I just get the heebie jeebies when it comes to bugs. I'm not a fan of bugs whatsoever and it's like Amy and Michael have both became so adjusted to it and used to it that they it's like they think it's normal because Michael was like everybody got roaches and bugs no not ev or roaches and mice not everybody has roaches and mice that's maybe everybody you're around but you know if they had that many roaches in their place the camera crew were probably coming home with it in their backs for sure and if you know that Amy's got roaches and mice then Tammy's probably got them too so hopefully they get all that mess mess uh, cleaned up but while the home organizers were over there Amy started crying because she was so ashamed and embarrassed because she ended up finding a dead baby mouse uh, in one of the top cabinets that they kept their food in and she started crying she's like you two dragged me to fill for years and now everyone's here seeing all this unfold and Amy was so ashamed and embarrassed she almost kicked the home organizers out she's like they need to leave but I really hope she doesn't end up kicking them out because it's gonna make their house so much easier to navigate it's just like a clean home and just living more minimalistic and getting rid of all the clutter is going to make your life so much peaceful and so much happier. I've been doing a lot of spring cleaning myself and it's just crazy how much that can affect your mental health in the worst way having a cluttered house. And Amy said that she comes from a whole family of hoarders. She's not... She doesn't know how to fold clothes. She wasn't taught how the proper way to clean a house. And I thought it was funny because she's like, she was trying to blame it on being blind. She's like, you know what? I do have an excuse. I'm blind. So I couldn't tell how dirty my house was. And those home organizers are expensive. I remember I ended up having my daughter two months early. And I ended up having an emergency C-section to where like I literally couldn't get off the couch. And I tried to look into home organizers and it was like $300 an hour. And there was no way in hell I could afford that. But the whole thing is they can get your house all organized and up to par. But you got to continue to take care of it because if they organize it, 
and you keep doing things the way you're doing here in a couple weeks or a month you're going to be back to how your house was before the organizers came but that's it for this video let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching